Hi there, my crafty friends. It is Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada, and I would like to introduce my product of the week. And this week, it is the Silhouette Scenes Bundle. So that is the stamp set and the dies. Let me show you where that is in the catalog. It is page 133, and in Canada, the bundle is $71. And this special, unfortunately, only applies in Canada. I can only sell within my own market, so my apologies if you're watching this elsewhere and are interested. Uh, this is my own special. This isn't a Stampin' Up! one. So here are some of the samples that gorgeous tree so it includes the you can get the whole suite but what I am offering is the bundle which like I said is $71 Canadian so you get the silhouette scene stamp set and the sweet silhouette dies which are amazing there is adventure inspire forever this gorgeous tree and a wonderful dandelion um, there are some adorable little mini clips, and I do have some of those. Just need to find them within all my embellishments. They are so cute. They're also super tiny. Aren't they cute? Now that I'm looking at it, we should totally use that on this card. I'm going to keep those out. We may have to do a redesign on the fly. <laughs> okay, so there's also this, um, the crushed curry crinkled seam binding ribbon, which does not go at all with what we are making today. And then there's the Stampin' Emboss powders in shimmer black and shimmer white. And we are going to be using the shimmer white in today's project. So there is an image of the DSP. And I am not using that in today's card, but I will be featuring it throughout the week. So um, this is printed just a little bit small. But if you go to my website, stampedaf.ca, you can download all of these case inserts for the wood mount case cases. And um, it tells you the name, it shows you the image of the paper, tells you all the colors that are in that suite, that bundle, and it has just a quick color key. Okay, so all of my papers cut down to four by six and these papers are gorgeous. It's like brush -o. So a super amazing. I'm actually wondering if maybe we should switch up today's design to include. It doesn't really work though. We're gonna stick with what I designed already, but so the ordering special this week is that if you order the bundle for $71, so stamp set and dies, I will throw in the coordinating DSP. And then you can go to my website and download the PDF that has all of the designer series paper and then order some wood mount cases if you haven't already. So the DSP is a $15.75 um, freebie. So you can't go wrong. If this bundle was already on your wish list, then this week will be the perfect week to get that. And this week, I should clarify, if you're watching this on a replay, is uh, if you order it Monday, July 22nd through end of day, Sunday, July 28th. So July 22nd to 28th, if you purchase this bundle, you will get the DSP, the full package of DSP for free. If I do have to mail the DSP, there will be an extra charge if you want to keep it as 12 by 12 because it is a lot cheaper for me to send it cut down to four by sixes. And I know some of my team and some of my customers prefer when the DSP is already cut. One, they don't have to deal with it. And two, um, it's easy. So, today's project. I'm trying to give you some good light, but 
this uh, light is also causing quite the glare. So we're going to do this a little bit darker today. Uh, when I made my sample, I used Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, and Blushing Bride. We are going to use those same colors, but we're going to do them a little bit darker because you, as you can see, when I put the clouds on there, um, it looks great in person, don't get me wrong. If I move this so that, no, because then you can't see it in the dark. But I use the Shimmer White Embossing Powder. I've used some of the uh, Frost White Shimmer Paint. It, it's just beautiful, but unfortunately the video doesn't capture quite the essence of it. So we don't need any of the dyes for this one. We are going to use the Swinging Girl. And we are going to use this quote. Now, when I did my quote, I used, again, the Shimmer White Embossing Powder, but it makes it really hard to read. Like, it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams, which you can read no problem, but the thorough in there is really hard to read. So I think we're just going to do white embossing powder for the sentiment, and we will do the girl in the Shimmer White. Okay, so we need a scrap of Whisper White cardstock regular cardstock, not the thick. Now, I thought about die cutting at first, but if I end up with any weird marks from my plates, it's not going to play nice. I just wanna give you all the light that I can. Maybe this is a little too bright now. Let's try that. Okay, let's keep her kind of right there. So, like I said, we are using Highland Heather, Balmy Blue, and Blushing Bride. And I am going to use uh, blending brushes. However, the ones I used for my sample are still a little wet. So I'm just going to grab, this is just a dollar store version. The ones that I was using are um, cosmetic brushes and they're softer and they are, um, it's a bigger surface, but it's wet. So that's not gonna work. Okay, we are going to start with the Blushing Bride because I only have so many of these brushes. So we'll start with the lighter color first. And we're going to do our heat embossing after the fact. So just ink up your brush. And I'm just working on a piece of grid paper here. I usually like to use my laminated grid paper, but then the glare that you get is phenomenal. And not in a good way. So you probably can't tell, but I am putting like no pressure on this because I don't want to end up with weird little circles or marks. And with the little bit of pressure, you can see I'm getting quite a bit of ink on there. Now I, we are going to trim this down so we won't, it won't matter what the edges look like. Okie dokie, that's looking pretty good. Now, uh, if you want a little bit of water spots on your, well, let's leave that on. If you want some water spots on here, granted this isn't watercolor paper or shimmery white cardstock, but just put a little bit and flick it on there. Just adds a little bit of something. It could be stars or the beginning of raindrops or some kind of fairy dust. 
have just a little piece of cardstock and if you've watched my videos for any time you would have seen that I had um, a DIY ink pad with Daisy Lane. It was for the one stamp at a time blog hop. This is the same clouds that I used for that. So it's just a little template. I just kind of very quickly cut out some clouds. We are going to use our craft white ink pad. You can see that I've been using this quite a bit. So let's just re-ink it because there's probably not a whole lot of ink left in here. Okay, now you are going to ink this up a bit and you can see how I get color in there. It's because this isn't exactly clean. I could use a different one, but now if you can tell in here, I don't go all the way across. I do a couple little clouds on this side and a couple over here and then here and then here. I don't go all the way across. So we're just gonna start up here. And if you wanna see your progress, you can just lift it. It's quite easy to get it back in the same place. Not particularly easy when you're filming a video. My apologies if my head is in there, but. Okay, that's a little better. And there's no right or wrong to this. Let your creative juices flow. Now this, this craft white ink does take quite a bit of drying time compared to the other inks. That's looking pretty good. I'm not sure how much you can see it. I know you can see the, the shimmery spots, but um, it's kind of hard to see. I will go over a few spots to make them stand out a little more. Okie dokie, we're done with the white. Now that I am done ink blending, I will clean this up with just some water. I find just using my thumb and flicking the color off is enough. Hit this with my heat tool just a little bit because I only want my embossing powder to stick where I use my Versamark ink. And in hindsight, I am thinking I did my clouds after I did my embossing when I did my sample, but time will tell. <laughs> if you went to heat emboss now, your embossing powder would stick everywhere that the ink is wet. So everywhere where your craft white ink is, it would stick. Okay, now we ha also have to remember, we are using one of the rectangle dies to trim this down. So before we start embossing, and put our sentiment where it's gonna be cut out. I wanna have my sentiment on this pink area down here. So let's do that part now before I trim it and stamp everything out of the frame, so to speak. And let's do that. I am gonna use my embossing buddy just in case. Remember I said we're using the white powder for this one. We will use the shimmer for the little girl. Not too close to that side because we don't want to cut it off. Oh, that's gonna be so much easier to read. <laughs> Here is the shimmer white and I would recommend that you shake it no matter which container you have it in 
every single time you go to use it. There is a fair amount of gray in here, and if you don't shake it up, you're not going to get a consistent um, pattern. You're gonna have little bits of gray and little bits of white, and um, it looks all right, but it's not the intended look. It should look a little more consistent. Okay, so embossing buddy for our little girl. Now let's take this back because we don't want to go too high. You know what? I'm going to emboss or heat emboss this first. Time for the little girl. That one's a little small. Let's go with a D block. And again, line this up gonna have it so that's straight so she may end up being a little crooked but here's another tip because I'm gonna put her right about there and you're gonna be like well where's the rest of her swing her swing strings and we're also gonna put her so that she's a little further back this time okay swing strings I used, and this is not current, I apologize, but I used the two-way glue pen and just added a tiny bit so that it looked like the strings. That part's gonna be a little bit wider than I wanted it to be, but say la vie. And then just emboss, cover your powder over the whole thing. Now, I understand um, I used to have one of these, but I don't anymore. But Versamark, you can get in a pen. So if you have that, just use that for your swing strings. I do not, so I figured glue was just gonna have to do. And then if I don't want it all on there, I can just take an X-Acto knife. We'll see how that goes. Okay, let's cover this up and boss this little girl. There we go. So pretty. Isn't this just dreamy? Now I see my sentiment is totally crooked. I'm gonna fix that when I use my stitch rectangle dies. And remember this. We're going to use my favorite sequins, it would seem, the woven threads. It seems to be all I'm using these days. Her strings should have gone a little higher up, so I'm just going to move this down further. I'll use a little piece of washi tape. Now I also put a piece of um, just scrap paper over top. You can see it picked up some of the white. Uh, it also keeps my design from getting a whole bunch of marks from my well-loved Big Shot plates. You want to be fairly gentle with this. You don't want it to rip your background after all of that hard work. I find, here's another tip, I like to use my bone folder to get this out. Easier on my hands, it won't put any ink on me. Just all together easier. I do find with the rectangle dies, I have to bend them back a little bit so that they will go back on my magnetic plate. 
they kind of bow a little bit. So this isn't even one that I just used, but I just bend them back just a tiny bit so that they lay flat. Now we don't have any of these colors in ribbon, but we do have this gorgeous Whisper White Flax ribbon. And I'm thinking that would be a beautiful ribbon to use with these little binder clips. Library clips, sorry, not binder clips. Maybe not quite so long. a little white one they're so small <laughs> oh but they're so sweet oh that's how cute I'll trim this a bit more I don't want this to detract from her hair Ever taken a piece of ribbon and just kept cutting and cutting and cutting until it's too short for what you need it for? I'm getting very close to that point. <laughs> Put the scissors down. What if we do it like that? Oh my goodness. So small. Okay, just a cute little touch. So instead of putting our ribbon at the top, we'll do it this way this time. We are going to now attach this to our card base so that we can attach our sequins and call it Finny. Now I don't want to put my card base in there to score it because, or burnish it, I don't want all that ink on the back of my card. So I'm just going to kind of slide everything on over. And we will pop this up on dimensionals because this guy is going to pose a problem if we don't. We'll just center that on. If you get any little stragglers, just use a dry brush and wipe it off. Now the one thing I haven't done is sprayed my shimmer paint. Actually, before we do that, let's not forget our sequins. This is 70% rubbing alcohol with about four drops of Whisper White, or sorry, Frost White Shimmer Paint. And you're just gonna give it a spritz. Now you can do that before you add it to your card base, which is likely what I did on my sample. Okay, so that is our final product. We've got one very dreamy one and one where it's a little bit brighter. So you can just play around until you get what you're happy with, but just take a look at the sparkle on her. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'd love to know in the comments below which one's your favorite. I think I like my dreamier, ethereal look, but again, it looks different in person. I think if I had just gone with the white embossing powder down here, it would have been perfect. This one, um, 
if if you go darker on the color like I did then that's the difference because I went very subtle on this one so leave me a comment below and let me know which one is your favorite and I will be back on Facebook live on Wednesday with a new project and I will be back here on Friday with yet another new project and all three will be using the silhouette scenes stamp set and the I can't remember what these are called. Anyways, the Sia Silhouette Suite is my product of the week. And if you order this with me this week for $71 plus taxes and shipping, you will get the Sia Silhouette DSP. So you will get the full package. If you want them left as 12 by 12, there will be additional postage because it does cost more to send that and you can just message me and we can figure that out. Um, otherwise, I will cut it down to four by six and you'll get all of this wonderful paper. So, place your order before end of day, Sunday, June 28th, and you will get that DSP. I thank you so much for joining me, my crafty friends, and we will see you again soon. Bye.